Hi friends! While I am behind the scenes, everything ready for your viewing pleasure of the project tonight, here are some things that you can do. Number one, as soon as you come in, please say hashtag live or hashtag replay, depending on what you are viewing. Next, I would love it if you would put a one down below if you are brand new to learning all about Chalk Couture, or you may have heard about Chalk Couture, but you're not currently working with the designer, because guess what? I want to be your designer. Next, if you are already an amazing Chalk Couture designer, please pop a two down below and be sure to throw me some hearts. I would love it if you would go ahead and share this video if you are catching me on Facebook and you are not a Chalk Couture designer. If you're on your mobile device, it's going to be the bottom left-hand side of your video. If you're catching me on YouTube, right underneath the live video to the left of the live chat is going to be that share button. Once again, if you are not a Chalk Couture designer, I would love it if you would share my video. Also, while you guys are on my social medias, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you're on YouTube, which is right next to that share button. And and I would also love it if you turn the bell on. When Facebook gets all wonky, I can always broadcast live from YouTube. But if you're on YouTube, I want you to follow me there as well. If you're on a laptop or a desktop, it's going to be right underneath the title of the video. Um, be sure to hit subscribe or follow and then go ahead and hit that bell to be notified whenever I go live. Next, I would love to talk to you all about Club Couture. If you're not aware of Club Couture, boy, are you in for a treat. It is the hottest club in town. Stick around to see the fun facts all about Club Couture. I can't forget the day we met your eyes are blue. Next, if at any time you would love to hear all about the Chalk Tour opportunity, the opportunity to purchase a business in a box and to go ahead and launch your own empire, please comment join down below because I would love to uh, uh, invite you into our opportunity group where you can hear all about the designer opportunity and you will have all the information at your fingertips to go ahead and make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Tour, but joining my team because I really would love to have you. Well, hello, friends. Hello, hello. So <clears throat> I want to jump in and start by saying, before I even get in to do some of my other chats, our vault is officially sold out. All of the transfers are gone. Boho Florals was the last to remain, um, and it is officially sold out. I was getting ready to tell you guys all about it, to hurry up and jump on it, but it's already gone. So now I'm going to go into something different to tell you about before it's gone because I'm a little concerned that it's going to sell out lightning quick. Um, if you heard Club Couture, Club Couture is where it is at, you guys. Um, our Club Couture transfer, the bonus uh, or the, the, the add-on that you could do for April, um, which was the Love Conquers All. It was a super cute transfer. looks just like this. Um, that add-on actually sold out as well. So you can still join Club Couture and you can still take advantage of the awesome sales this month. It's $19.99 plus tax in the U.S., $26.99 plus tax in Canada, free shipping on your monthly Club Couture transfer every month. You also get your flat rate shipping every single month of your any and all orders that you place in my online web store uh, website. You'll get flat rate shipping of $4.95 um, in the U.S., $9.95 in Canada. Everyone else does get flat rate shipping. $6.95 in the U.S., $13.95 in Canada. Get dried up like yeah, that gets washed and gets dried. You can go dry it. Um, so you can also capitalize on flat rate shipping, but our Club Couture customers definitely get that discount on it. Also, as a Club Couture customer, you're going to go into my private Club Couture group where I make three additional projects without fail to give you the most bang for your buck with your Club Couture transfer every month. Um, and like I was saying, there is an awesome special on uh, for our Club Couture customers um, this month, and it is 50% off all of the transfers that are in the last chance section. Now, yesterday, I used the 
Uh, freedom transfer. It's the one that spells out the word freedom, red, white, and blue, fireworks, starry nights, country music, barbecues, corn on the cob, watermelon, sparklers. It has all of that. It's a size E transfer. Normally $39.99 for our Club Couture customers are getting it 50% off. So you'll see $19.99 in your cart. But I'm going to tell you, there's a ton of other transfers. If you like flowers, April showers, bring May flowers, the entire flower market chalk stories is in there as well. They're not going to be in there for long though, you guys. So definitely jump on it. The last thing that as a Club Couture customer you can do is get the Kickstarter kit once you join Club Couture. As soon as you add Club Couture into your cart, it's going to prompt you to say, would you like to add on the Kickstarter kit? And you absolutely should. It comes with a 9x12 porcelain steel, 8 a magnetic chalkboard, a 5.5x7.5 palette frame, a 2-pack of board erasers, a small squeegee, a multi-tool, and a 3-ounce bright white chalk paste, okay? So Club Couture for sure is where it's at. Now, if I said all of that a little too quick, which I tend, tend to do, and I apologize, it's just because I'm excited, um, comment club down below, and I'll message it to you. It's no big deal. I don't mind to because I realize I talk quick. Um, next thing I want to chat with you about really quickly before we jump into our project is our brand new new designer kit. Um, this new designer kit, well, if I could get it to get up on the screen. <laughs> what the heck? Ah, oh, sorry. I have fat fingers. I was clicking everything but that. Um, this is our brand new, new designer kit, AKA business in a box. I call it a business in a box because everything you need to jumpstart your business is in that box. It's $99 plus tax and shipping in the U S to join my team or one twenty nine dollars plus tax and shipping in Canada to join my team. You will get a box valued at over two fifty dollars us and over three fifty dollars Canadian comes with five, three ounce chalk paste, a small squeegee and apron, a 12 pack of thank you cards, a 12 pack of chalkable chips, a board and base, a 9x12 porcelain steel, eight a magnetic chalkboard, the gorgeous spring summer catalog, the README, seven silk screen adhesive back reusable transfers, and that Club Couture transfer. Now, you might be saying to yourself, Jess, that's all well and good, girl, but I got questions. No worries. No worries. I got you covered and I've got your answers. Come and join down below and I'll message you the link to my opportunity group. In my opportunity group, I have a video that goes over every single detail you need to know to make an educated decision about whether you want to join, not just Chalk Couture, but join my team. I want you to be happy with the decision you choose and I want you to be a part of it. So that's our new designer kit. Next and final thing that I want to talk to you about before we jump into this is the What's of Love Chalkathon. It's going to be live. You're going to be able to check it out in two places, you guys. One live on my Facebook page right here um, on May 16th. Because they are, Chalk Couture is also going live on May 16th and they are doing page hops. I am not going to be able to broadcast live to YouTube that day. Um, I'm going to have to do everything from Facebook. So if you have not followed me on Facebook yet and you are a YouTube subscriber, please follow me here. Chalk Couture with Jessica. It's super easy. You literally just have to put that in and you'll find my page. Okay, you guys? So definitely follow me there. But there's going to be so much awesome happening on, on May 16th between my page and Chalk Couture's page. They... <clears throat> They're going to be doing giveaways. They're going to have awesome auction items. You guys, I'm offering up an auction item as a Master Couturier. They asked if we'd like to, and I'm going to be making something super fantastic that will be up for bid um, for you guys. So it's going to be such an awesome day. Please mark it down in your calendars. I'll be going live from 10 a.m. to 6, uh, till 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and Chalk Couture will be live 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So it's going to be super fun, you guys. I can't wait for it. All right, let's get this live rocking and rolling. Here is a little something for all of my new friends who are just finding me um, and who are just finding out about how awesome Chalk Couture is. Um, they're going to be able to catch up on some fun stuff here, too. All righty. I think that has been up long enough. Let me say hi to some peeps here. Hi, Dion. Hi, Debbie Watson. Hi, Anna Walker. Hi, Marcy Downey. Hi, Donna Bragg over on YouTube. Hi, guys on Facebook. I have Kim White, Kim Stanton, Karen McDonald, Terry Beach, Melinda Thorne, Lisa Batten, Lori Johnson, Deanna Gordon. Hi, Deanna. I'm going to send you the link to my VIP group. Um, I would love to have you be a part of it. Um, Let's see. Uh-oh, I missed. I lost it now. Where'd it go? Um, where are we? Hi, Ro. How are you? Hi, Veronica Ellis. 
Hi, Christy. How are you? Hi, Dion. You're watching me on both sides. I love it. Um, hi, Debbie Mick. I also sent you the link to my VIP group. Hi, Terry. Hi, Leora. I miss you. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Michelle Kangas. Hi, Karen McDonald. Hi, Jen Hernandez. You sprinkled the chalk love, Margaret. You are the sweetest. Hi, Mary Beth. Hi, Darlene. Hi, Christy Perez. Hi, Casey Turner. Hey, Heather Susan. Hi, Debbie Adams. Hi, Darlene. Hi, Eva. Hi, Jen Iser. How are you? Hi, Rebecca Sweeney. Hi, Vicki Keller. Hi, Sherry Cass. Hi, Nance in Louisiana. Hi, Kim Castleberry. Hi, Sandy Strainer. Long time no see, girlfriend. You ordered a Watson Love t-shirt and bracelets. Yes. That's awesome. Hi, Angela Larson. Hi, Carol Baird. Hi, guys. Hi, Leanne. Tingle Parker. How are you? Hey, Jill Hurley. Hi, Mary Egger. Hi, Jan Stahl. Hi, Nicole Stevens. How are you guys? Hey, Christina Lowry. How are you? Thanks for watching. All right, you guys. So today we are going to be doing, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get to the third project. We're definitely doing two projects today. Um, that's for sure. I don't know if I'm going to get to the third, but the, both projects we do are going to be with the home, um, home of the brave. Okay. I'm super excited about this transfer. Super bummed that it is out of stock and it's due to come back in stock next week though. Hooray. So if you are interested in getting your hands on this transfer, just say home of the brave and I will message you as soon as it comes back in. Okay. Um, so it's got all types of good stuff on there. Fourth of July, home of the brave, old glory, the flag, which is going to be a part that we're going to use today. Celebrate liberty, land of the free, which is also something we're going to use today. Um, so I'm super pumped about it. So let's get into it. Now, this is the project. As you guys know, this is the one I came on late. I think it was late Sunday night to test out to see if I could get switcher to work again or not switcher restream to see if it would connect to YouTube. And, um, I painted this live with you guys. It was actually a sign that said like happy camping always, or I don't know, something to do with that. It was like two years old. Um, it was a sign I would never use. I bought it because it was a good size that I knew I could convert into a sign. I sanded it all down and we painted it. Um, and we distressed it just like we did with the fireworks, which I love these colors to do the whole patriotic theme, right? So we got it all ready to go. We did a fun trick for those of you that did not see. I put some of my Salty Secret um, white sea paint into this container and I dropped all of these little wooden beads that looked like this into here and shook it all around and they came out perfect. And then I just distressed them a little. That's all I did. So we learned a fun secret that day. So that's what we did there. So today we're going to add something on it. And what I really want to do is land of the free on here. And I'm hoping I can make it work because it's going to be super tight if it does. I originally wanted to do Home of the Brave, but it's too big. Womp womp. What a bummer. Hi, Brianna. We had a lot of fun last time on your watch. We sure did, Vicki. You were amazing. I am so super thankful for you. You have no idea. Hi, Claudia McDaniel. Hi, Julie Elliott. Hi, Jen. Hi, Jill. All right. So this, whoops, sorry, guys. This transfer we used yesterday, so I've already labeled it. And this is just another fun way to show you that you get multiple uses out of your transfers. And I love when they're like subway art because you can do multiple different, like multiple things with them, which is super, super fun to me. All right, so here's the thing. This might be way too big. We might lose the tips of some stuff on here, and that's going to be A-OK. -okay. We'll, we'll make it work. All right, hold on. Maybe if I can get it away from my coffee mug so it doesn't it'll stop falling onto that, that would be awesome. So if we take the tips off of some of these, I'm so OK with that. There we go. Look at that. That is perfect. And we're leaving it right like that. We're not even going any further. I don't want to mess with it. Um, hi, Lourdes. Thanks for sharing, Sunshine. How are you? Okay. All righty. So let's go ahead and let's do this one now. We've already done a blue, a red, and a white in the background. I was kind of thinking we would do a black on here because I think the black would show up. 
Um, or I was thinking maybe silver or gold. What color do you guys think would make this look super good? I'm going to leave it open to you guys. Hi, Denise. How are you? What was the paint you used to make it look older? It was, um, the part to make it look older was this one. I will show you, Nicole. And there's a fly in here, which is awesome. Buzzing around my head. Okay. While you guys tell me what color you think. <clears throat> and I'd like to get some stars going across too. I think that might be cute. But this was the paint that I used. It's called Treasures by the Sea, but it's cpaints.com. And I used Cloudy Secret is what gave it the old look where I just feather weathered it. Silver or gold, silver, silver. Hey, Susan Hellman. Gold, silver, gold, silver. Hello, Anita Drake. How are you doing, my sweet little Canadian? Eva says gold. Michelle Kangas says gold. Black or bark, the silver might be too light. Black, silver. Dion says silver. Linda B says silver. Over on YouTube, I'm seeing a lot of silvers. I'm seeing actually a ton of gold, though. So, let's test out. I guess we'll go gold, then. I guess that's what we will do. I think we will definitely see the gold for sure. Leanne says black. Deanne says silver. Did I already say that? Denise Nutter says silver. Uh-oh, we're getting way more silvers in. Okay, so silver it is. So we'll test it out. If the silver is too light, guess what? We'll just go over it with a different color. No big deal. The big deal is going to be to find my silver. Who plays with all my chalk paste? Oh, that would be me. There it goes. All righty. So let's test it out with the silver first and see what happens, shall we? Oh, mama, I need some more silver. Oh, boy, boy. Okay. Hi, Nikki Morris. Nikki Morris is black or silver. Okay. Paula Skinner says red. Okay. Let's see. Gold or black says Nance. Blue Jay says Darlene. Um, Nicole Stevens says silver. Dion says silver. Okay, so it's all silver on uh, YouTube. All right, so we're going to go with silver, you guys. Let's test it out. All righty. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to just go and pop it right across the transfer. And we'll see how it turns out. If it's too light, no big deal. I am a little concerned now as I'm pulling it over the F. It's going to be hard to see, but we'll see. Hey, I just did not mean to do that. Okay. Okay, we are almost done and we'll peel it back and see how it looks. Okay, we ready? Oops, hold on. Actually, the silver looks pretty flippin' awesome. Of course it would do that. There it goes. Sorry. So 
So the land of the, the land of, well, land and the FR are the only two things that I might have an issue with. But I think it looks really good. I mean, you guys can see it. I can tell from here, which I really do like. I really, really like it. What do you guys think? I think it looks awesome. The shimmer paste, shimmer paste take a little longer to dry because they're heavier. So just so you know, keep that in mind. Wow, you guys, I love it. I really do. Doesn't it look so nice? Thank you, Nicole. Thanks, Donna. Thanks, Deanna. Looks good to you. Thanks, Lisa. Hi, Laura. Silver works way better than I expected. Me too, Claudia. I'm not going to lie. Hi, Char. Hi, Denise. Hey, Sean Marie. What about black with a silver over it? The black could be a shadow. Totally could have been. Totally missed your comment. I'm so sorry. That would have been a great idea, Dion, though. For sure. Totally would have been. Hi, Bobby. Looks good, but I can see why you may want to add another color to it. Yeah. The, this is a little dark. Like, that D is a little hard to see. And I'm in person with it. But it does still look awesome. Nonetheless, it looks amazing. Okay. So, let's get this over here. We got that. I love it. And then, of course, we have our gorgeous little bow that we've already added on to this that I did the other night. Look how cute that looks. Oh, I love it. It's so patriotic. Oh, it's so fun. Land of the free. Yes, it is. Love, love, love. So, so cute. I love it. Okay, so, hi, Jean. It did? Okay, cool, Dion. Thanks, Sandy. Thanks, Michelle. Thanks, Nance. Hi, Kathy Garcia. Okay, so we've got this one project completed. Now, let's pop this out of the way. Oh, I love this so much. It's so cute. And I love my little wood beads on it. So adorable. Okay, so let's just move this out of the way for a sec. Now... We're going to do another one, okay? We're not going to use that. We may make some little beads, though. Okay, we're going to take out our palette sign, the 9 by 12 palette sign. Hi! Could I offset it with gold? Hmm. I don't know what would happen with that, to be honest with you, Vicki. I'm not sure. I really don't know. I do not know, which is a bummer. You have that ribbon tenience? Yeah, I don't really know. Okay, so we've got that done. Now we're going to come on back to our transfer. And we are going to use the flag. Okay, and we are going to I'm debating on if I want it to be sideways or long ways. What do I want? The long ways would be super cute. Hold on. But oh my gosh, it keeps getting stuck to my coffee. <gasps> ah, I got silver paste on it. Oh my goodness, Jess, you goofball. Well, we got a little bit of silver paste there. No biggie. All right. I want to make sure. Yep, nope, we do got to go that way. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. So we are going to, for starters, where is my backer? Well, you know what? We may not need the backer. Hold on. 
What I, you know what? Hold on, guys. I do have to clean this off. One second. One sec. Actually, no. You know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to just use the backer sheet. Hold on. I got to close my silver. Put this over here. Oh my gosh, I even got the silver chalk piece on my laptop. Good lord. Silver chalk paste. Silly. Okay. What I'll do is I'll pop it off onto there. And then I can clean it off. Not smart. Not smart, Wilson. When I do goofy things like that, and then I say, oh, not smart, Wilson. Brand's like, you mean Douglas. <laughs> He's such a turd. There we go. Actually, it was brilliant. Look at me. Look at me go. Sometimes I just can't. Okay. Ooh, I took the lid off of the chalk paste. Okay. So now let's try that again. Take two as I'm folding the transfer all upon itself. Silly, silly girl. There it goes. Okay. So let's attempt that again, shall we? Okay, so I want to make sure that I do it right in the middle. So I can line it up. Like that's area. Nope, that's crooked. What is happening? Why is there so many? You, the whole reason why this is being so difficult right now is because I should have just washed the transfer, but because I just wanted to move on. So let me give me some issues. There it goes. Gotta, I'm just trying to make sure that I can get all of the bubbles out because there's a ton of them. What is that? This little bugger is making it like a mountain underneath my transfer. Hopefully that is going to be smoothed out now. There we go. So much better. Oh, my goodness. That was brutal. Okay. Hopefully that's nice and straight. Okay. So, woo-wee, that was brutal. Let's see. Hi, Deborah Mae Jones. Hi, Timmy. Hi, Debbie Green. Hi, Nellie Stammy. It is cute. Now you would not want to mess it up. There's practice technique to see what would happen on a practice piece somewhere underneath them. I gotcha. There you. I will do that, Vicky. Having it all day, Deb. <laughs> I have not, seen it, Darlene. How funny is that? How funny is that? Okay. My goodness, that took much too long. So, now we're going to take our Cadet and our Candy Apple. Gosh, I wish we still had Shimmer Red right now. Oh, I would use Shimmer Red like nobody's business. So, we're going to do this side over here in the Cadet and then the Stripes and Candy Apple. And because there's going to be the background parts of the Stripes that'll pick up from the white box frame, it's going to look like red, white, and blue. It's going to be awesome.
There we go. Look at that consistency. I love it. Oh, I sprayed a little too much in there, but that's okay. Oh, that is a beautiful little consistency there. Okay, so we got that one. Candy apple is always a good consistency. Usually it's a little too thin, but lately it's been perfect. So I'm not even going to stir it up. All righty, let's do this. I see I did stock up enough for me, but I don't ever like to show something that you guys can't get. I certainly don't have enough for everyone. So that is why I cannot show it. Because what a bummer it would be if everybody wanted some shimmer red and I literally may have three, two or three jars to my name left. So there's that. that to the side way too much way too much Jess Now let's quick get our candy apple on. Oh, I think this is going to look so good. Somehow I managed to get blue into it, the cadet. I don't know how I managed that, but I did. Okay. Whoops. Look how good that looks. Okay, so we've got that part done. Wow, that is so vibrant. We need to sand that down a little. And I went a little crooked. I don't know how I managed to go a little crooked, but I sure did. dropping it okay so we got that part done now we're gonna go for the part that says old glory we're gonna put that down I just have to be super careful so that way I don't want any of the candy apple to like come forward. You know what I mean? Hoping that it's even. It looks pretty even to me, actually. Actually, it's a, mm, it's not even. where I think it's going to be even is right at the edge of the board. I think we're good now. <gasps> Do you see what looks so cool? 
What if I, wow, that was accidental, but look how cool that looks. What if I do Home of the Brave and Old Glory over it? Do you guys see that in the background? Like, how awesome would that look if I did it with, like, um, wow. Look at that. That's, like, perfect. What do you guys think? So pretend 4th of July isn't there. Look, it's going to stop right there. I won't even do the stars. What do you guys think about that? The letters. You like that idea, Donna? It looks super cool. Look at that. Oh, geez, it's not even, hold on. I just pushed that all that down. I'm going to use the tip of the stars as a guide. There it goes. Now we're even. There it goes. What do we think? Do we love that idea? know what I would use for the I don't know what I would do over it I would want it where like it was in the background like I don't know if I should do it in like gold shimmer silver because maybe the way it would show up what do we think about shimmer silver let me know and let's do shimmer silver over this Yeah, I, don't, I, I, I want it to be where Brave shows up like that, but that will be, that's going to be another project. We'll do that. So for now, should I just do Old Glory and keep the flag and then work on Brave in the flag for next time? What do we think? Tape over any color. Yeah, I won't do the stars. Pretend the stars aren't even there. I would do Home of the Brave Old Glory and then have the flag in the background. So the flag, ooh, it won't wash off, Vicky, because I'm on a palette frame. So it's either go with it and I could always redo it. I'll paint over it. I'm not above that. I don't know. Let's try it. What's the worst that could happen? I don't like it. Big deal. If I don't like it, then, you know, I just go with something different. Right? Right, right, right. Where's my paper towel? At? There it goes. Because I got blue. I think it could look cool. Well, so I can't really tape over it because I would want Home of the Brave and Old Glory on it with the flag in the background. Hey, Carol. Hi, Sandy, right? How are you? You only live once. I love that Holly Jones on YouTube. Hey, you're finally home. Hey. Finally. Yeah. Hey. Awesome. About time. 
He's going to send a search party. Mask off the existing flag and shimmer silver the rest. Existing flag. So, okay, so we don't want to do the flag. Okay, so you guys don't want me to do the flag, so I should just stick with Old Glory then. That's what I'm trying. Like, if I was going to do it, I want everything that's seen on here on the board. So it would say, Home of the Brave Old Glory. Come on, take the chance to do it. What makes this cool is the flag in the letters. Right. Right, right, right. So, yeah. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stick with just old glory. And then I'm going to make the brave happen. I just have to figure out how I would do that. Because it would look so cool. I have to pl I'll have to play with that on my own later. All right, so you know what we'll do? We're going to just do Old Glory, okay? And maybe we'll do that in Shimmer Gold. You know, I think that's what we'll do. We'll do Old Glory in Shimmer Gold, and I'll leave everything else be. Can you do it so you can still see the flag through the words? I don't know, Anita, that's what I'm saying. What if you, that's what I was meaning. I don't know if I could do it that way. What if you just paste the old glory and take one of the chalk markers and outline Home of the Brave? Mm, I don't know. I don't think I could do that, Karen, because I don't think I can use the chalk marker on the silk screen. Tape over. Oh, I see what you're saying. But it's still going to be missing the point to make it spell it. Darlene, that's the problem. It would be missing that. I promise you, I'm going to figure out a way to do that. I know what you guys are saying. I get it. Yeah, but the you know why I can't do it that way? Because this is the same transfer. So I can't manipulate the transfer. I don't want to cut it um, because I still haven't done my subway art piece that I want to do yet. I do. I do agree that it will probably cover up too much tie, too much of that. I would do the Home of the Brave and, and the Stars, the rest, red and white. Hmm. I do too. I think because I wanted Home of the Brave to be on the other one. So what I could do is I'm going to mess around with it. I'll mess around on a washable surface and I'm going to see if I can do it. Because um, what my thought would be is to somehow be able, I could do, okay. Here's what I would be able to do, but I can't, I can't do it. Oh no, I ripped off some of the blue. The problem is like how I would do it with the happy camper. This would have to get laid down over top of brave, right? And what I would do is probably just do B-R-A-V at first and then extend, like I would stop it right here at this tip and then I would extend out a little more to cover the E. I know how I would do it. The problem is, is I only have one of these transfers. Once I get another one, when it comes back in stock, I could totally do the brave and spell it out. I think that would look super cool. You do you, boo. You get it? Yeah. Do you know how the brave and the stars the rest red and white? Yes. Yes, I don't have another flag one, Vicky. I only got one. I'm always like leery about buying multiple on like a launch day because I want to make sure everybody gets some. So I only bought one, one of everything. Um, 
I think I may have bought two of these, but it was because someone couldn't get on to place the order. So I was like, oh, I'll just do it for you. I already shipped it, though. So bummer. But I love that. All right. So how about we go back to the original idea then of the old glory with the stars? Are we on board with that? Old glory and stars. That is so crooked. Holy cow. Very good. Oh, hold on. I gotta get my fingers out of here. And so we can't do white because we have a white surface, right? Hold on. I'm trying to. That is perfection. Okay, hold on. I want to see if I left enough room. Yep, I did. Okay, good. It looks like we're even. All right, so let's go back. Now, I think Old Glory should totally be in gold. Don't we agree with that? And even the stars in gold. I think that would be good. Or we could do Old Glory in... I think the stars should be in gold. How about we do Old Glo Glo Glory in silver and the stars in gold? That'll work. Okay, we got this. We got this. We got this. Sammy. I was very indecisive just now. Yeah, no, I, I only have, the only other flag that we did have was the one from, oh, wait, is that really crooked? Hold on. Wait, hold on. Is that super crooked? Is that playing tricks on me? It is. It bubbled up. Even still, no, that is not even close to being straight. What is wrong with my eyes today? Hold on. I want to say it's because, why is that? Oh, oh, I actually see why it looks, hold on. It's because of the, there's a piece that bounces out back there. This should be, this should be straight. There we go. Okay. Is that better now? What is happening? Why can I not make this go straight now? Something on this transfer, I think, was not straight. Because it will not go straight for me. That is right lined up along with the... There it goes. Now we're good. I think I was good the first way, but it's just the way that I did it. Okay. That's why it's, that's it. Yes. My, my flag is crooked. That explains it. So this is lined up straight now. Because it's right along the edge. So I know that it's it's right. Okay. We're going with it. Okay. Woo. All right. Finally. Yeah, not straight. Hopefully it's straight now. It looks pretty good now. It does. Now it looks good. Okay. So we're going to do stars in the... What did I say? Someone said it. Um, do, do, do. Old glory in black and stars in silver. Okay. We can do that. Let's do it. Where's my black? Thank you, Vicki. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So we're going to do Old Glory in black. And we're going to do the stars in, was it silver? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So we've got this now. My goodness, you guys. See, this is the kind of day that I've been having. 
This has just been the day. Okay, that looks good. And the stars in silver, was it? Hi, April Walls. I feel like I want to do the stars in, I, wanna, I don't know why I wanted to do the stars in gold, but we'll do them in silver, that's fine. No biggie. Okay, let's get it off, finally. Oh, that looks so good. Hold on, let me move it up. Wow. I wonder if I should repeat the stars above the opposite side. It's super bright. It needs to be dirtied up. It needs to be, like, distressed. For sure. It is much too bright for everything that we've been making, huh? You guys agree? Much too bright. Let's do some distressing, shall we? Let's get our squeegees out of the way and close up our chalk pastes. I need some shimmer silver. Now it needs some distressing. Yeah, silver does match the other sign. You guys are right. Totally forgot what I was doing. What would I do if not for you all? I would be a hot mess. Okay. Well, I am a hot mess, but I'd be much more of a hot mess. All right. So let's get some cloudy secret out, huh? Are we all dry? Is this really dry? Come on. Yep, everything's dry. Okay, let's let's get some stain, maybe. And stain around the board first. Probably, hindsight, probably should have done that first. Didn't think of it, in my defense. Okay, let's get a little, we'll get a little paper towel here. And we'll just distress a little bit, right? Hi, Cindy. I blurred out, rut row. Hi, Janice. Looks like a great design for a postage stamp. Agreed. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We won't do that. You're right, Vicki Keller. It's, it's a little crooked. All right, let's, yeah, let's dirty it up a little to match. Because all my other porch decor is all Americana, distressed, you know, all of that. I just want to do a little, 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 little bit. Oh, maybe it's you. You blurt. Oh, okay. Thanks, guys. Okay, you ready? We'll see. Now I really took. Whoa, where did that heavy piece come from? I 
I like how it's sort of kind of highlighting the stars because the stars with the shimmer paste, it kind of makes it like pop up a little more. Oh, I am literally using a paper towel. It's super classy. I know. Um, <laughs> or do you mean, oh no. Okay. So I'm using, um, this is a dark paste wax. It's called chalk, chalk teak, I guess. Um, and I'm not sure what color it is because it doesn't tell me. Oh, it just says dark paste wax. That's all it is. Now I've, I used this like on something recently. I don't remember what the heck it was. And it like really came on dark. So hence why I'm not doing a whole heck of a lot. I'm just literally pat, pat, patting and rubbing. Do you know what I mean? Oh, look how good that looks. That looks so awesome. Got to do the edges, so too, because that is going to look way off if it's stark white, you know. Probably hindsight, probably could have done this first, but like I said, I kind of dig how it's highlighting the stars. I'll have to show you guys what I mean by that. Nice. Aye. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. This matches everything so nicely now. Dingy and dirty. I love it. Dingy, dirty, dingy, dirty. What is, is now you have to get the tape measure? See if it's crooked with old glory in the stars. Your eyes drawn to all over design that looks good. Thanks, Vicki. Right? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Thanks, guys, on YouTube as well. Oh, I love it. Look at that. See the stars? How they look like... I can't really tell what I feel. I don't know what it's called. But I love it. I really like it. Alright, so should we add a little of the cloudy secret over it? What do we think? I'm wondering if it would really show much. I mean, maybe a little bit over the, the, the black letters. A little, 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 little. Wee! little bit say like wee 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 like this little piggy cried wee 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 all the way home like that wee where's my itty bitty teeny tiny brush okay oh good and it made my brush super tiny by the way I love it. It's like making my letters look super, super old and distressed. I love it. Yes. Okay. Well, now that I did that, I need to do a little more. Hi, Pam.
That would be big brim. Still alive. Oh, I put a little too much there. I got a little too heavy handed. Dang it. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. Might got a little heavy handed on my one stripe there. I must have gotten caught up in what I was doing and forgot to bounce. I love it. Love it. It's just enough. What do you guys think? Oh, look how good that looks. <laughs> oh, yes. You like it, Vicki? I'm glad. Do you guys like it? I think it looks awesome. Like, it looks like it was faded into this. Oh, my gosh. It's so good. Perfection. I love it. Mm, I love it so much. Oh my gosh. Yes, Vicki, I agree. Thanks, Jill. You're so sweet. Thanks, Lisa Batten. Thanks, Jan and Mary and Jean and Dion and Leanne and Jill and Eva. Darlene, yeah, do you like it on the red part there? Hi, Heather Besner. I miss it. Oh, Shelly, I'll, sh I'll have to show you. Oh, they're in the last two, the, the other two uh, videos that I did. But then here's the one from today, which maybe now that I look at this, maybe I should. No, no, no. Let's let this silver stand out on its own. So we did this and we've got that. Oh, my gosh. In love, you guys. In love. Let's try this real quick. And then, you know, that's going to be all she wrote for today. And then tomorrow I've got even more fun projects planned. So if you loved all of this today and you said, oh my gosh, I got to get my hands on this. Number one comment, home of the brave down, hashtag home of the brave down below. And I will message you as soon as it comes back in stock. If you liked what you saw and you want to go into my VIP group, as long as you were not a chalk couture designer, comment me down below. If you'd like to get the details on joining my team, um, come in, join down below for my opportunity group link. And if you want all the details on club couture, comment club down below and I will make sure you get that link. But that is going to be it. You guys check this out. Okay. So number one here is, oops, hold on. Let's get all this back up the right way. Here's project number one. Land of the free. We got to do Old Glory. Oh, I love this. It looks so flipping good, you guys. I love it. On our palette board. Oh, my goodness. So, so good. I hope you guys enjoyed the project. I am having so much fun making some patriotic decor. Patriotic. I did it again. Patriotic porch decor. Um, and some of this will be tier tray decor as well. Um, but I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I am going to be back again tomorrow. Awesome, Leanne. You got it. Hi, Becky Solins. Oh, thank you, Dion. What was that last product? Holly Jones. Was it 
Home of the Brave is the name of the transfer that I used to make both of these projects today. This was an, on a 9 by 12 palette frame board. Um, this is Land of the Free, which was is also on that transfer. And I made this board um, from a surface that I had forever that I never used and sanded down. Um, is that what you mean? Oh, I don't know what you meant. I'm so sorry, Holly, that you put that on. Oh, 9 by 12 palette frame. Holly is what that's on. Tongue twister, right, Vicky? Oh my gosh, I know. Thank you, Lisa. All right, guys, I hope you have a great night and I'll be back tomorrow. Portriotic, get a patent on that. Right, Mary Beth? I think I need to. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with another. Guys, have a great night and I will talk to you all later. Bye, guys. Oh, I can't, I can't end my video. So maybe you guys are stuck with me. Let's see what's happening here. Hello. There it goes. All right. Bye.